To begin installing Packer, download the Packer installation files. Go out to the Packer.io site. Click on Download. And then download the package that's appropriate for your system. In this demonstration, we're using Windows 10, which is a 64-bit Windows system. Save the file, preferably to your downloads directory or other place where you can get to the file easily. I save mine in my downloads directory. What you're never going to have having is a zip file. If you look inside the zip file, there's just an executable. You want to copy that executable and then we're going to create an installation directory for it. Go to C drive, program files, and then create a folder for Packer. This is going to require administrative privileges on Windows 10. So assuming you have administrative privileges, go ahead and paste the packer.exe executable into the new packer directory. We're getting a warning because we need to escalate, and so we're getting a UAC prompt. And this is perfectly normal. So once you have Packer installed, we need to add the path to Packer to our environment variable so that we're running programs on the command line or when we're running scripts on the command line that call Packer, those scripts are able to find the executable file without knowing what we named our folder. So we're going to right click on the Windows icon and go to System. We're going to click on Advanced System Settings and Environment Variables. In the System Variables pane, we're looking for the path. Highlight the path and hit Edit. We're going to hit New and install our path here. As you can see, I had already installed it earlier. An alternative way to say Program Files is to say percent program files and percent. And this method works better if you don't think that your program files is going to be in the default directory. In my case it is, but also could have hard coded the path to other directories as well. Once you're done putting the full path into your environment variables, hit OK and exit out of the various dialogs. You also can get to the environment variables by regular clicking or left clicking on the Windows icon and then going to your system settings. Under system, type in environment and edit the system environment variables and you'll end up back at the same dialog. You can confirm that Packer is installed and also it can be reached from the command line by typing in Packer. And you should see the following information.